Hello again, I am Blonty. Are you a PC gamer? Well, outside of all the arguments about which graphics card is best, which brand of graphics card is best, and what RAM you should use, and whether consoles are better or worse than PC games, there is one thing that has always interested me about PC gaming, and that is case modding. Way back in the day, I tried my hand at it a few times and had moderate success. Had a lot of fun along the way, but at PAX Australia this weekend long, I saw some stuff that was eye-boggling. There are two types of people in the PC gaming world. The plain case drones and the case modders. Actually, it's a wild oversimplification and I'm sure you're already arguing about it in the comments section because, you know, that's what PC gamers do. Argue. But hey, PC case modding, much like the car modding culture that helped inspire us in the earliest days of the pursuit, can be an endless well, a horizonless pursuit, an inexhaustible hobby of forever tweaking, building, lighting, rigging, dremel, buzzing fun. Back when I tried my hand at it many years ago, there was next to nothing out there off the shelf ready to go to help us out. What we did back then was do stuff like repurpose and rewire LED and neon lighting systems meant for car modders and grind our way into off-the-shelf cases with Dremels and buy big sheets of plexiglass and have to cut them down in order to stick in our own windows and all that kind of stuff. These days, though, the choices of off-the-shelf options are bewildering. Hell, if you want to, you can even buy cases pre-rigged and wired with lights for your starting point, or even complete systems ready to go with visually delighting liquid cooling systems already installed. And if you don't have unlimited time and all you want is a rad-looking rig with minimal effort, that's a sweet way to go. But for others, well, the craft for them is in custom building a rig from the ground up, carving it into the shape of their passions. And it's here where true art can be found. Well, art that's also functional, which is cool. It can start from a very functional place, like this rig with a lit up back I.O. panel to make life easier, with a simple but kind of elegantly utilitarian cooling system installed, fueled by a white goop that to me can only be Bishop's android blood. I like the contrast between the black components, the red light accents, against the stark white plumbing. But maybe you want something flashier, or something fishier. Ha <laughs> ha! How about a fully functional gaming PC built inside of a fish tank? A working fish tank, complete with what seems to be perfectly content little residents swimming around. This thing scored eyeballs all weekend long at PAX Australia. It was beautiful. If you look closely, you may even notice that the internal chamber that separates the PC components from the life-ruining H2O is itself filled with liquid. In this case, I'd guess it's a mineral oil. And this is a trick I've not actually seen used in many, many years. It's actually very clever, if impractical, way to cool a computer, as heat is directly transferred to the oil about five times more efficiently than it is to air. It does, however, require a significant radiator rig to then remove that heat from the oil again. Quite significant radiator rig. Maybe you'd like something just as unusual, but a bit more practical and easier to maintain for that matter. How about a PC inside of what started its life as an RC car? I loved the design of this one. Not so much the cheesy plastic toy car body, but the neon green liquid cooling system snaking its way inside the car and under the hood absolutely punched all of my joy buttons. The doors, the hood, the rehatch all still opened and closed, and if this were my rig, I think I'd have gone with the A-Team van design. 4x4s aren't really very sexy or even interesting to me, but still, full points for the execution here. Very cool rig. Perhaps your passions lie in the printed pages of comic books. Meet the Hellboy case. Blew. My. Mind. I don't know if the bust on top is a custom sculpt or a repainted collectible of some kind. I'm sure someone watching will recognize it if it is and drop a comment. But the case itself was stunningly beautiful, completely custom from edge to edge with a worn battle damage and rusted steampunk look offset by the throbbing internals of carefully routed wiring and brass and glass looking plumbing to give it a very comic book super science look. 
just spectacular. Foosball, or to some of you, table soccer. Not an especially challenging mod when it comes to getting the PC in there, as you've got all the room you really need inside a box this big, so the layout here is pretty straightforward, clean and tidy. And I bet temperature management is never an issue here as well. But hey, it's a PC inside a working foosball table, and there's nothing about that sentence that doesn't bring a smile to my face. But for sheer visual impact, for getting your carefully chosen rig components on display without letting people get distracted by something as mundane as a box, maybe you should just nail the whole damn thing right to the wall. Talk about airflow. To me, as friggin' amazing as the Hellboy or even Fish Tank rigs were, I think this one is the biggest crowd pleaser. It's kind of mesmerizing watching the blood red liquid cooling circulate and swirl, the lovely geometry of the straight line plumbing with right angle joints, the no nonsense brutality of this beast in its most raw and naked form. Oh, and it was hooked up to a triple display array and a full on racing control rig, so that was pretty sweet too. I was captivated by this rig every single time I walked past it all weekend long. And every time I walked past it all weekend long, I kept thinking to myself, maybe I should build one myself. It would make a pretty sweet backdrop for when I do this talking to camera thing. I am getting pretty tired of my boring old backdrop here, which is just a, it's a bed sheet actually. It's covering up a plain looking wall. Uh, so yeah, now taking donations for my sweet wall rig. Wall rig? Sounds weird. Do you like your military shooters? Or perhaps you're just not very interested in not ever scaring off nice girls you bring home. How about a bullet riddled C4 exploded rig with a big friggin sniper rifle on top? Is that a sniper rifle? What the hell do I know? I don't know guns. Again, someone's already corrected me in the comments. <laughs> but anyway, all sarcastic snark aside, this was a fantastic case mod. Lots of attention to detail, though I couldn't help but think that the tear gas canisters should have been made a functional reservoir for the water cooling. That's what I would have done anyway. Inside it was simple, clean, but sweet looking, complete with drablinkin lights in the ram sticks. Some super clean lines and modern industrial geometrical elegance make a good contrast for the military theme here. True, this isn't really a modded case, it's just a cool looking off the shelf rig, but still, if you're looking for a way to show off your rig, the huge window and topless design are a good way to go. As is this boxy beastie, designed to maximize your air-cooled thermal flow while keeping some sense of aesthetic sensibilities and a brutal, no-nonsense setup. Speaking of which, it's been a long, long time since I saw a full-sized tower. I thought they were extinct. But look at this monster. The entire bottom compartment was nothing but drives. And as a dude who, thanks to his video editing lifestyle, eats up drive space like candy, I may have drooled a little bit. I wonder if they were rigged up in a RAID config. I bet they were. Internally, the main rig was, well, just pretty. Super clean, eye-catchingly sexy, stark black and red throughout, all wired up cleaner than any rig I've ever built back in the day. And on top, all about sucking the heat out. Another ready-to-go rig, scaffolding inspired and unusually rigged sideways to provide the I.O. on top of the unit instead of the back. Seems like a smart design to me. But yeah, so there you go, the sweet rigs and custom cases that caught my eye at PAX Australia last weekend. Have you done any better? Have you done some case modding yourself, done anything better? Had any better ideas of how you could make the existing rigs you saw in this video better? Like my idea for using the, 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 the tear gas canisters as, as reservoirs for the water cooling. I thought that was really clever, if I do say so myself. Do the thing where you drop a comment and let us know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.